Hey all, welcome back to my channel. I was actually in the middle of doing something pretty inventive. Um, since we can't get adjustments right now, um, my frenulum is actually, since my gums are shrinking, the denture is going up more, and my frenulum is actually killing me. Really thinking about getting a frenulumectomy and get rid of the damn thing because it's useless. But what I'm doing is trying to get into here, which, I mean, let's be real, a normal nail file doesn't have the graded sandpaper thingy on the side entrance, so I actually uh, did it myself. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see since I'm trying to do this handless and all that. So what I did is I took apart a regular, tiny, cheap um, nail file, and I took the sandpaper part off of it, and I wrapped it around this spot, taped it in one little section, and it gave me this right here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it right in here where the sandpaper part is, going down. If I, oh, wrong side. I put it right here. And I just take off what I need to take off. This is pretty cool, actually, and pretty inventive. So, I mean, I did take quite a bit off before I started the video. See, you just go side to side, side to side, take out whatever you need to. As you can see, it's working. It's got the little shaded um, spots on. I did soak my denture, but I am going to do it again, given I put germy crap on it. So, of course, I'm using my Polydent Smokers Edition, which is cool. And it's purple. Not to be a girl or anything, but, you know, I'm going to be. So I'm going to put it back in there and soak it. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So what I did was, um, where is there a sandpaper part? Oh, well, this is also too. So you know how it has two sides? It's an emery board, um, which is an L file. And it does have two spots. I like demolished it. But when you, when you actually snap it, the paper... Um, it's actually on both sides, but the paper you can just peel right off, which is what I did here. This is the sandpaper. I do not have the best lighting. I'm sorry, guys, but this is literally a spur of the moment video. And you take pieces of the emery board. You wrap it to how you need it, like I did here. I put the emery board around the, what looks like a popsicle, after you take off the uh, sandpaper part of it, and you just tape the top. So you're able to get into the frenulum, like I showed before, and take off some of that. Because we all know our gums shrink, and that's the crappy part. So it's going to sit there and soak just for like a second, because I already soaked it originally. I just want to keep it clean a little bit. And what I do, and I'm going to show you guys, that you could just... Sorry. Again, spur of the moment, trying to do this without my hands, holding the camera. And you take it, flip it, and clean your denture really good, because I don't know what's on that emery board. And germs, everything. I am very OCD when it comes to my mouth, guys. Um, I prefer everything ridiculously clean. You never know what goes in there. So I'm taking my brush, and I'm literally putting it into my frenulum. Clean it out. It smooths it out. Um... Hopefully it works. If not, I'll do a little bit tonight or tomorrow. Not a big deal. But you have to work with what you do. I mean, we're all stuck at home. I mean, you know, it's rare to find a dentist open, but they're not taking new patients. They're only taking care of their patients, which is cool because, I mean, I get it. And um, you want to be finding ways. So, yeah, I'm trying to do videos to show and help you guys on how to do adjustments on your frenulum area and any other area that needs to be three months in i'm still you know shrinking and it's going up and with it going up i'm having a problem and it's no joke killing the shit out of my mouth now as you can see my frenulum is actually very close to my main gum area so it rubs and it hurts um, when I first put it in, it doesn't hurt. It hurts more at the end of the day because I smile a lot. And I'm a very joking person. So, I mean, if I don't smile, it doesn't hurt. But once I smile, it lifts up the frenulum and it cuts on it and hurts it. So, if you want to do your um, frenulum, like I said, get a simple emery board that 
basically looks like this. It almost looks like a popsicle with sandpaper on it. You can get it at any nail place. There's actually, you can get like a group of 10 of them for um, like $2. It's mad cheap. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can find another one I have in my nail section. Because I know I bought a crap load. And probably my luck, I can't find any right now. Wait, I think I did. I think I did. I have a lot of nail polish, by the way. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. This is what the emery board looks like. Ta-da! And there is both sides. But I use this side because it's sharper. So what you do is you snap this in half. I don't want to waste this yet. So you snap it in half. And the, the sandpapery emery board part peels right off. And then you just wrap it around this part. Like from here to here. Just the way I did. And what I showed you guys. And then you make your own little saw to do your adjustment. What's cool is when you use, you know, nail files and emery boards and all that stuff, it actually is way safer than using a Dremel, especially for small adjustments like this. If you want to just take off the top off here, you can simply just use this and go like this and it makes it shorter. So to do adjustments at home, it is not going to affect it. It won't mess up your warranty because it's not going to damage your denture at all. So you can definitely do your own adjustments at home, guys. I just want to help you. If you guys want me to do any videos on certain adjustments or certain cleaning products or anything you want, just message me, comment below, let me know what you want. Have a good day, all. God bless and stay safe.